seen from the secondary and how you all have played for two weeks? I know you haven't really tested as much through the air, but what have, what have you seen from the last two weeks? I feel like we just staying positive. You know, we know our time will come. We don't have more opportunities. You know, we feel like this week we have more opportunities to play football. So just being positive and encouraging everybody around us to keep on getting better. Just uh, doing our job, here. doing our job. You know, we got a 50 run, make sure we 50 run, make a tackle, make a play when the ball comes our way. So you know, all of us are important. You know, as a corner, we got 50 run as well. So just being up and showing up and making make a play, make a tackle. Yeah, yes. We're working every day, working on making it at them the right angles. And, so we can make the make the play. Are you excited to get more opportunities because Memphis throws the ball more than the other two teams you've seen? Yes, yes I'm excited to you know actually make some more plays and uh, you know, play with the guys around me. You know, have celebrations and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited. Just following up on that, what has stood out about watching Memphis on on film so far? They they got you know, three good guys that actually plays a lot and, and they want the ball in their hands. So you know they got playmakers on their side of the ball and. They trust their guys, so you know we trust what we can do as well. So it's going to be you know, good competition. What's been the biggest difference between the two? I walked up late, came out a bit nuts, but just you know, you guys haven't got tested a ton in the passing game. Are you looking forward to a game like this for the team that has to throw the ball? Yes, we're looking forward to it. And, you know, we feel like we're going to get more opportunities looking forward, so we're really excited for when the opportunity comes. We've got to make it good. How, how much has these first two games helped in terms of integrating with the new guys and just Getting all on the same page. Do you feel like you guys are making progress? Yes, we, we, uh, we basically talk about each and every day, like just making sure we all communicate and all on the same page, just playing as one. And I feel we definitely are getting better at that and improving. You know, we got to show up on some of the game. What have you seen from some of the younger guys in the secondary that have been merging recently, getting more reps just on the field, off the field? I let those guys just actually make them play. They got to get the opportunity to actually be on the field more and each and every day improving themselves and understanding the players and making plays. So uh, overall, they definitely don't have more opportunities to play. Has there any one young guy kind of stood out in the secondary team? Uh, it's, it's a multiple, <laughs> multiple guys, honestly. But, uh, even the young guys like Charles, Ricky, like they you know, all make plays out there in practice. They might not get as many reps as we might do, but at the end of the day, they definitely have potential to do big things. The, uh, the FSU scout unit is probably the best it's been in a long time. You get to go up against, even though he's young, like Elijah Moore and like talented wide receivers. How much is that? I guess they give us you know, good looks. We, uh, you know, fight. We, of course, we, they still compete against yeah. us and making them, you know, we making each other better. So it's, it's great competition. We have fun. And we, you know, playing against each other and you know, talking trash and all that stuff. So it's just fun competition. Is there a point of emphasis for the players? Is there a point of I feel like the main point is just having fun out there, playing as one, just having fun, you know, being how, you know, how it was when we was young. Just, one out there, smiling, and playing each other, playing with each other. That's the point. Coach, what you just mentioned, sometimes it seems like the team may be pressing you. Trying to make it hard to be fitting. Yeah, we just, I feel like we just got to, you know, make the, that, don't let, don't force it, you know what I'm saying, just don't force it to just play ball, don't ever feel like we just need to do our job, and at the end of the day, that's going to help us get, make the play and win games. Let's go off of that, the message is also like, we just want the guys to have fun as well, Is you kind of seen that this week a little more? Yes, I feel like uh, we, we even have more energy. We go out there, we, we talk about it like we go out there in the huddle, energy, energy, have fun, have fun. So it's, it's definitely been a big emphasis, and you know, I've seen it. Really How much do you think the bye week helped for you guys to kind of recharge after those first two games? It's been good just, you know, seeing you know where we was at in the last two games and seeing what we need to correct on as a group. So just seeing that and knowing what we need to work on is it's been, it's been a big emphasis each and every day during that bye week, and we still focus on that right now. We we see the people who we've been we've been Yeah, it's good to get back on those guys. Bowie's Bowie's are cool enough, but you know, like that's the strong step. We believe that um, this game is your only the second year's gonna be the challenge. We definitely want the second year's gonna be the third year's game. Yes, I feel like we have more opportunity to be a challenge. We can think about more this game. And you know, we just don't take advantage of
the opportunity to have one out there. Thanks, man.